Good morning, friends. It's Miss Tracy from Smith County Public Library. Here we go. Um, this is my library card that's all enlarged. And it's Tuesday, so it's together time. And today we're going to talk about butterflies. I'm very excited for you. Um, I have a cat here. He doesn't want to leave, but he will eventually, probably when I ring the bell. This is Soda Pop. He likes to hang out on the table. I didn't want to leave there. Well, let's sing our song and we'll see how it goes. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. I'm very happy to be with you today. So we're talking about butterflies. We're going to do one called Caterpillar Spring Butterfly Summer. Um, it's by Reader's Digest Publishing Children's Books. It's great. We're going to do Butterfly Garden or In the Butterfly Garden by Philippe Ugg. Same kind of book as the robot book last week. And we're going to do our own little version of Eric Carle's Very Hungry Caterpillar. Um, with a Lakeshore learning set. So I'm very excited. I think we'll start with, <laughs> we'll start with this one, um, which is actually kind of hard to read. So I will do my best to read it and show you all the cool pop-ups in the butterfly garden. Here we go. Okay, you should move now, Soda. Yep. <laughs> in the butterfly garden, Oh, let's get the first page. Here we go. Look at that, my friends. Isn't that lovely? Okay. Day dawns in the butterfly garden, and all the little creepy crawlies are perking up. Can you see all the little bugs here? And this is the caterpillar in the caterpillar garden. Okay, let's see what's in the butterfly garden. Right now it's a caterpillar garden. Look at this, aren't they so cute? Okay, now all the one up, it's time for the first of, get, 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 get. It's time <laughs> for the first walk of the day. Soda, you are not walking, you're not part of this book. Scoot, scoot out. Get. It's time for the first walk of the day, and one after the other, the caterpillars go walking. Look at them, it's like one big caterpillar, but they're walking one after the other. Later on, look at this one. I love this page. This is my favorite page in the book. It's hard to read though. Later on, a chrysalis grows from a caterpillar hidden in the folds of a leaf. See, look, can you see in the middle of that leaf? The chrysalis has formed. And there's lots of other things happening in the garden too. Over here you can see a snail, and you can see the ants. Aren't they cool? And the stag beetle. I like this page. And then, ta-da! A butterfly is born. It nibbles on the sweet nectar of the flowers. So you can see it this way, all the flowers popping up. And then also, look, look, look. Excellent. Isn't it wonderful? Okay. Now let's see what we got here. The butterflies flutter high above, performing a bridal dance. There they are. Lots and lots of butterflies. Oh no, a praying mantis is in the garden. He's a bit dangerous if you're a butterfly. Isn't he cool? Yeah. And so here's the butterflies flying away to escape that praying mantis. And now it's nighttime and the moths come out. Isn't that neat? You probably see the moths fluttering up against your porch light at night or wherever they see a light, that's what they do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was a good book. I love that book. Now we're going to do Caterpillar Spring, Butterfly Summer. This also has some neat features, such as this. It's Caterpillar Spring, a fiesta, a field day of fling, a fine time for stepping out, a fine time to wiggle about. It's a caterpillar song, bugs sing, bouncy, bouncing along. Stretching high, they swing and sway, dancing in a springtime ballet. Look at all the little bugs having a great time together. 
It's a caterpillar treat. Baby bugs gather round to eat. A time to chompity chew, munching leaves as they march through. Can you see all the little baby bugs eating? Lots of little bugs everywhere. Yes, that's pretty cool. Lots of little bugs. Yes, they're all over the place. Little ladybugs, little pill bugs, everybody's eating. Oh, and the pages are stuck too. Oh, look at his face now. It's a caterpillar sigh. <sighs> As new friends fly high, goodbye. He bounces and leaps and springs, but he can't fly without any wings. That poor caterpillar, all his friends are flying away. What is he gonna do? Well, he's gonna go to sleep. That's what I do when I'm sad too. It's a caterpillar sleep. It's long and cozy and deep. Awake to a woodpecker drummer. It's a butterfly summer. It's a bat. Oh my gosh. All right. Now it's time for shaking our sillies out. Uh, I have a new friend today to shake our sillies out with, and that is a sloth. Isn't he cute? So let's get ready to go. Hope you have a friend to shake your sillies out with too. Oh, no, sleepy skit. There we go. with a little puppet friend. Here he is, the very hungry caterpillar. Okay, and we're gonna have these, and they're super fun. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf, and you can hold your hand like this and imagine you have the little egg. I better do this. Light and the little egg lay on the leaf. On Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg, came a very hungry caterpillar. There he is. Um, but this isn't the egg, is it? This is what comes next. When I mentioned he was very hungry, oh, he was very hungry. On Monday, he ate through one apple like this. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. But he was still hungry. Yes. On Thursday, he ate through three plums. That's a lot of plums for a little caterpillar, but he is so, so hungry. Still hungry. Oops. 
see, on Thursday he ate through four strawberries. But he was still hungry. On Friday he ate through five oranges. But he was still hungry. Here he goes, watch me. Still hungry. Then the weekend, he went a little crazy, as people are wont to do. Look what he ate. He ate some Swiss cheese, some salami, a giant pickle, some ice cream, and a piece of chocolate cake, like this. He is going crazy for all this food. But he was still hungry. So still the same Saturday, he ate a giant lollipop, some watermelon, a piece of cherry pie, another big piece of sausage, some corn pepperoni, and a big old muffin, like this. Oh, and now he wasn't hungry anymore. He felt kind of sick. Blech. That's what happens when you eat a lot. You start to feel sick. And he felt very, very sick. So he ate through one green leaf as slowly as he could. And he felt much better. He wasn't hungry, he was sleepy. So he decided to take a little bitty nap and he curled himself into a cocoon, like so, just like that. And he went to sleep. <sighs> then he woke up <gasps> and he was a beautiful butterfly. Look at that same little face, but now he's a butterfly. And that is the end of our together time today. But not quite, because we've got to sing that goodbye song. So let's put our, butter, our little butterfly friend over here, and we'll play our goodbye song. Song number nine is the last one on our disc, and it goes like this. It's another black cat. This one's in your ear. Hey, Ruth ear. to stop our playing. That's why you hear me saying, wave bye-bye, Jackson, bye-bye. Wave bye-bye, in a grace, bye-bye. Blow me a kiss, and I'll make a wish that soon we'll play together once again, just like this. Wave 